Hello, it is the eighth day of Vita, uh, and what I'm going to do today is I have about a hundred feet of rope here, a little less because I have a monkey's fist. Um, I'm going to demonstrate a skill I have to make this much rope uh, slightly more manageable, and while I do that, I am going to tell a story. Uh, just a quick demonstration of what I'm doing here. So just starting on this end, make a little twist, pull a loop through, and then I pretty much just do that for the entire 100 feet and just go, and it all ends up in loops, and then it's really easy to manage. So, here I go. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you about is um, I travel for work a lot, and over the past year I've got to go to a lot of cool places um, across the country, and I also went to the Netherlands, which was really cool. Um, and I want to talk to you about some of my favorite places to eat in all the different places that I've gone to. Um, so to start off, I guess I'll go with the Netherlands, because that was the most interesting. Um, I visited a city called Oss, and my favorite place to eat in Oss was an Egyptian place. It was right across the street from the hotel I was staying at that was called the Waveri. And the Egyptian place, I can't remember what the name was, but it was this tiny little Egyptian place, like sort of like a bar, and um, they had like five or six dishes that I just loved. I think the first day I went in there, I got a steak, and it was literally just like a steak in a cardboard carton, and it came with uh, onions and peppers, and it was absolutely amazing. And so literally the next day for dinner, I went back to that same place and was like, I'm getting that again. It was so good. And then the, the guy convinced me to get uh, a shawarma, which I had never had before. I had no idea what shawarma is, but he kept telling me, oh, it's so good, you have to have it. And I was like, all right, all right, I'll have some shawarma. And so I had some shawarma, and it was absolutely amazing. I was like, this is seriously the best place that I have been to in this entire country. Um, so after that, I probably went back to that place for dinner like every other day. I was there for a total of three weeks, and I went to that place at least ten times. Um, they had really good burgers, which is strange, because, you know, like, burgers are, like, American food and blah, 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 whatever. No, they had great burgers. They were served on, it wasn't buns, it was, like, some kind of pita or something. And it had lettuce and stuff, but it was just absolutely amazing. Um, so I love that Egyptian place. Uh, most recently, I went to Arizona, um, just outside of Phoenix, a place called Scottsdale. And my favorite place to eat there was a Vietnamese food restaurant. Um, I'm really bad at names. I don't know what the name of this place was either. Um, but it was this little place. You know, I, I love Vietnamese food, so I almost always find a Vietnamese place uh, wherever I go. And pretty early on during this trip, I found this place. And a Vietnamese place I drove past. I was like, hey, I'll go there for dinner tonight. So I went, I walk in. First thing I hear is mariachi music. And I was like, that's pretty awesome. Um, the place was like, a lot, so a lot of Vietnamese places that I've been to at least, you know, they're pretty small places, they're usually Vietnamese owned. Uh oh, I got myself in trouble. Um, this place was not like that at all. This place was like a big bar, there was people setting up for live music later that night. Like, it was the sort of bar that you would see just like here in Somerville, uh, Massachusetts, which was pretty cool. You know, they had like lights and stuff and like the full bar or whatever. And the food was just amazing. I got um, some kind of spring rolls and pho, my favorite food. Um, so then I went back uh, a couple nights later, and this time they had pop music playing. So I was like, hey, cool, you know, mariachi music, pop music, this is pretty sweet. Um, I went back a few nights later again, they had dubstep going. I was like, all right, dubstep, this is my favorite place in the entire world. And I think I went there at least once every other night. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, where else have I liked? Um, just so you can see this, I've got some pretty good progress going. Um, probably a little over halfway done right now. Sure, we'll keep going with that. Um, let's see. Uh, in Indianapolis, I went to a place called Chopsticks, and it was spelled like T C H, like chop. Chopsticks. It kind of sounds the same, but it looks cool when you read it. Um, so I went there a couple times. It's a sushi place, and it was really good. Um, where else have I liked? I 
went to Irvine, California. That was really nice. Oh, okay. Here's a funny story. So, I am not a sandwich eater uh, at all, or at least I wasn't. Um, but in the last, like, two months, I had my first sandwich and then decided that some sandwiches were acceptable. Uh, so in Irvine, California, there is a place called Witch Witch. It's a sandwich shop. Apparently it's a chain. Um, that's the only one I've ever seen before, though. Um, and so you go in there, and they have, like, a bunch of different cards that are based on, like, what meat that you want in there. Um, and I went with hummus because I was very skeptical of sandwiches. I'm like, well, hummus is a safer bet than meat. Um, so you pick up this card, and then you just have, like, dozens of options. You could put whatever you want in the sandwich. You just, like, have this pencil and you check box as you go along. Um, so, you know, I went through and I picked things. I was like, okay, I like this, I'll eat this. You know, bacon, peppers, hummus, garlic, stuff like that. And uh, when the sandwich came out, it was actually really awesome. So me and the people I was working with went there for lunch a couple of times while we were out there. And I ate sandwiches. And actually the other day, um, I cooked my first sandwich. I cooked, what was it? Portobello mushrooms, red peppers, um, avocado, mint, green onions, all that kind of stuff. Grilled it up, put it in the sandwich. It was pretty awesome. I was very proud. Um, that's another thing though, avocados. Never used to eat avocados before, but I've spent two months out of this year so far on the west side of the country, and they have lots of avocados there, and I just grew accustomed to them, and now I love them. I'm taking a look here. If you can see this, I am almost done. Three, two, one, and we're done. So now, that hundred feet of rope is much more manageable. And actually, if I were so inclined, if this video hasn't been so long already, you can actually do one more level where you loop it and pull this whole thing through. So then, like, your 20 feet or whatever this is now goes down to, like, like, two or three feet. And you can just, like, sling that over your shoulder and bring around 100 feet of rope. But the best part is at the end, when you need the rope. Where's the end? Oh, my gosh. All right. All you have to do... You want to do that one knot I did at the end, and then you just pull, and it just goes forever and ever, and, well, it ends at 100 feet, but it's really awesome. It just pulls right out. I love this thing. I love playing with rope. I'll often do that while I'm watching YouTube videos. Just sit there, tie it. When it's done, pull it all apart, tie it again. I don't know. I need something to do. Anyway, that's my Vita for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.